Hey, what's going on guys? This is Rob here with the Nerdy Review. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing video of the Anet A8 3D printer. The reason I got this um, was mainly because of how popular it is and how like, a lot of people who just start 3D printing, they, um, they look to either this or the Ender 3 for their first printer. So I just kinda of wanted to get hit with the whole, whole scene and uh, see where it goes. I actually got this off of Amazon for only $129. There was a $40 coupon code and it was Prime. So the delivery was free and it got there in two days. I'm cutting towards myself with my cameraman. Matt would come over the phone screen and get me if I did. Always practice safe cutting exercises. If you're going to do something, do it right. It was pretty securely packaged, I would say. It was a nice, tight box. This looks like a, uh, a mount for the, the heated plate. The only other printer that I've assembled is uh, a Prusa, so I'm excited to see the difference between them. There's definitely a difference in price. This is uh, some safety instructions. Here we have some PLA sample filament. A bunch of new tools, which we always love. This is pretty interesting. More tools. We have a couple cables, probably for the heated bed. Some acrylic pieces, more than likely for the frame. This I'm not so sure about. kind of weird and then here we have some linear bearings that are already in their um, enclosures that'll make it very very easy for mounting okay some linear rods probably for the axes acrylic plates for the frame Seems like it's going to be kind of big. The ANET mainboard. And the display, which I'm definitely going to pop open. Just I'm always curious to see how those look like. I know that Taz just, uh, Buzzbot Taz just released their new printer and the uh, the LCD screen on it is pretty intense. Interesting. The way it's uh, the orange back makes it similar to the Prusa. It's a little bit different size LCD screen though. And then here it would appear that we actually have some miniature condoms. Uh, we'll probably figure out the, the purpose of these later on. If you know the purpose, just feel free to comment down below. More acrylic pieces. Got a bunch of motors with the pulley system already attached. I guess that's kind of nice. Save us a couple seconds worth of time. Can't get these things out of here. Interesting, the Z motor. Probably leave a lot of these in here. The power supply. Nice and bulky. Not too much bigger than the Taz's or the Cruises. Some wire wrap, some zip ties. Got a, only one belt, I think. Threaded rods, probably for the Z axis. Uh, complimentary USB drive. Hot end fan. And then this is actually really interesting. Um, these are injection molded. 
and uh, on the Prusa, they they use Prusas to 3D print their their parts specifically for uh, holding in the the linear rods. Interesting. There's two of those. It's just cheaper than injection molding. I guess so. And they did sell for $129. It's interesting. Some probable soldering work to come. Some extruder stuff, more cables, more parts for the frame. And then here is the hot end itself. I'm actually gonna take this out of the bag. This is a bogus extruder, right? I think so. Well, I don't know, you're about to, does it yeah. look like it's Bowden? It looks like it has a stepper motor on it. I've never even seen a Bowden, so. Nice. Now it's direct drive. Nice. We'll have to do a battle video of the ANA A8 versus the Ender 3. Definitely. Woohoo. And we have a nice bag of screws. We just bought a Chinese Prusa from a Chinese manufacturer and uh, the screws basically all came in one giant bag not labeled at all so that'll make things very nice and I bet they'll actually all be in there. But uh... Did it come with a bag of candy to eat when nah. you build it? Doesn't, doesn't look like there's any gummy bears this time. China didn't send any gummy bears either. There's actually no instructions, so I bet I'll just have to find those online. But uh, either way, I'm really excited to build this and be a part of the the ANET A8 scene. It's going to be pretty exciting. I'll definitely be posting uh, all my prints to my Instagram, Rob the Destroyer, and then also occasionally on the Nerdy Review. Um, I'm also going to do an assembly video that I will link at the end of this video um, and try to make it easier for everybody to get their ANET A8s assembled. But uh, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more. ANET A8 3D printer. ANET A8 3D printer. The ANET A8 3D printer. That's a good blooper right there. <laughs>